Greetings fellow Earthlings, this is Benetronic17 Reviews coming at you with another video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Movie The Best MB03 Megatron. Now take a look at this absolute awesomeness of a beast. <laughs> this is a great Megatron. Um, he's not that big, honestly, but like he makes up for it in paint and articulation and features, all that stuff. Um... Excuse me, he's very, very cool. I've actually always wanted the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron since I was a kid, but since before the Studio Series 1 was announced. And I still want it, and I got it now, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But I just think this one has a, it's superior to the Studio Series version as my friend, or, you know, well, as JC, JCCC, two, two, JCC224 said, um, that he prefers this one over the um, Studio Series one. And I absolutely agree. The movie, the best one, actually, in particular, over the 13. The Battle Damage one is a different story. That one has actually got a lot better paint apps, and they fixed some quality control issues, I believe, like on those back knee pads here, those shin pads. Um, but yeah, this guy, these things don't fall off. The shin pads don't fall off on this guy. Um, he's not hollow, and he just has better paint apps, and that really makes a world of difference. All that stuff when you're playing with a figure. I'm, I mean, like when you have a figure and displaying it and stuff and just... A good around like having a good figure representation of that character um <laughs> sorry that was a mouthful um basically he's really cool he just has a lack of articulation a little bit in the fingers and that's pretty much it he's got more articulation than the studio series one otherwise because he's got waist swivel um heads on a ball joint um he's got all kinds of articulation i guess he's missing that thumb that was on the side here but that's not a big deal um he doesn't have ankle pivot at all, but that's all right because he's got toe articulation and he's got a thigh swivel, so he kind of makes up for it. He can balance pretty well, honestly, so you don't really need it. But um, here he is and in his robot mode, and he looks glorious. I mean, just amazing. <laughs> so let's take a look at the detail, shall we? So here's his face. He does have, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I turn the light on here quick, the lamp. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, let's see. If, there we go. Look at that red. He's got some light piping in his eyes there. Which looks really, really beastly and cool. Um, and he's got all these gold highlights in his chest and silver. And you, he does have some gears in here, actually. And I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. If they, they spin, they rotate when you rotate his waist. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Alright, so that's that. Um, I'm going to turn this off quick. There we go, so you guys can see it better in more detail. Um, but otherwise, he looks fantastic. I mean, just here he is, and he does have a spring-loaded missile hand, which is alright, but, um, it's more for vehicle mode. I kind of leave it out, but it is, does fire. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, he does have a little bit of a backpack, which is a little bit of a downside, but it kind of looks cool, because it's like a cape and stuff, and I really like this design. He even does have those thrusters on his back, like he had in the movie up there. Um, they're correct, granted they're not the correct thrusters, because these are the ones, the leg ones are actually the ones that, in vehicle mode, that should be, you know, um, and robot mode end up here. But that's alright, because the wings, the wing pack looks really cool, you can get into some cool poses, and it kind of looks like a jet pack at some points, and you can just fly him around. <laughs> he looks really cool, honestly. This is, there's a lot of ways you can display him, like with a lot of Friend of the Fallen figures, sometimes things don't tap into you, it gives you a lot of, which is a good and a bad thing, because... On the bad thing, you know, it doesn't tap in, but on the good th good, good side, um, it's got a lot of playability and, like, ways to pose the figure. Like, the, I'm thinking the Deluxe Soundwave from Range of the Fallen, uh, and, um, the Don't Get Me Started on the Studio Series one, who I just bought, but, but yeah, I'll just put them in here. Superman pose. As you see, I did, um, paint him. I gave him some more silver, but enough about him. Um, I will review him soon, once I fix them, actually. I gotta fix those joints with some super glue. As I do with the movie The Best Megatron. Oh, MB-17. That's the other one, actually, I bought. Um, my next figures I'm going to be getting, by the way, are the MB-20 Nemesis Prime, I believe. And um, TLK Hot Rod. And some of the other TLK figures. Because I just really wanted those as a kid. Like, uh, well, a few years ago. Because that last night, Toy Line, I could have gotten so many. But I only got a few because, you know, I just didn't have the money. Because I didn't have a job yet. But now I do. And I can go and rebuy those figures that I always wanted from the last night line. Because I really liked that last night, Toy Line. I thought it was really good. Uh, quite frankly. But, anyway, here he is. 
And let's, what have we not done yet? Let's go over articulation, I guess. Um, or no, features, otherwise. Um, okay, so he does have some mech alive here, what they called it. So, like, that rotates in there. Kind of like breakaways. If you rotate the elbow, that, like, it spins in there. So, that's, like, not the biggest one. But the biggest one was the chest and, of course, the fusion cannon. So, what do you got here? Is if you, um, sorry, I, I kind of... Um, mine is a little bit faulty, but not too bad. But anyway, um, if you, if you take this blade here, you can fold his arm like this. And then if it's folded, it just has the blade, right? And if you straighten it, um, well, the blade should come out just like that. So it straightens out. And if you hold the blade, it'll like move with the lock, basically. It'll move with the gears, which is really cool. Um, I did glue mine, and well, I didn't glue mine. Um, I actually put some floor polish on the on the gears here. I don't know if that was a mistake, but the feature doesn't really work anymore. But that's okay with me because you know, um, it keeps it like this. Because before, if I extend it, it would only go as far as that, and like if it was spring loaded, you know, like with the gears. But now I can make it go all the way up to here and stay in place, sort of, kind of. <laughs> Um, it still, like, droops down a little bit like that because of the springs, but, um, it's better as than it was, definitely. Like, the blade doesn't just sit here. It, like, actually goes here now. So I just, like, fold it back in and forth. So it makes the gears kind of useless, but that's okay with me. Because, you know, I did just put some floor polish. In there. But that's the inner gears. That looks really cool, the inner workings there. So now it's like fully extended, so it's like I'm grabbing it the whole time, which is, it's fine, because that's what you would normally, that's what would happen, actually, if you just hold, hold it down instead of letting the gears go back into place. So it works. Um, but here's his fusion cannon. He's got that extendable blade, which is really cool. So just... <laughs> yeah, that's the fusion cannon sound. I love that sound, by the way, from Warren to the Fallen. Anyway... Here he is, and let's go over articulation now. Let's get this missile out of the way here. Okay, articulation-wise, his head is on a hinge and a ball joint. You can look up, down, left, right, tilt a little bit. Um, these things are on ball joints too. These hook under here, though. Um, they hook over this back, the backpack, so it keeps it in place. Um, shoulders can move forward, uh, in and out, basically. And they can, like in that concept art, when he's like this, like, oh, I'm gonna charge you, like when he's doing that. And then... Um, you got soft ratcheted, uh, joints moving forward and back on the shoulders there, which is pretty cool. On the shoulder spike moves back and forth if you want it to. Um, bicep moves in and out. He's got a bicep swivel. Like I said, he's got the elbow bend on this hand. And on this hand, it's the same articulation. The fingers don't move at all. They're just made of a rubbery plastic, so... I guess they kind of move, but, you know, you can't really pose them or anything. But that's alright. Um, and yeah, so that's that hand. Um, he does have a waist swivel. Legs can are on ratchets, which is amazing for a Voyager class figure, honestly. Um, they can get forward about that far. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then they can go back that far. And then they can go outward. You can do the full splits. He does have thigh rotation. Um, he does have this outward knee joint due to transformation, but you don't really need that. Um, then he's got these double jointed knees, of course, like he has the chicken legs. And then he's got toe articulation and a little bit of heel articulation, but not much. And yeah, that's pretty much all the articulation he has. He is very awesome though in terms of articulation. Okay, so now let's get into comparisons. So if we can get him standing straight here. Which normally he doesn't give me a problem with, but today, of all days, he is having a problem. No, I'm kidding. He's good. There we go. All right. So here he is compared to his mortal enemy, Monfield Decepticon's Battle Blades Optimus Prime, also known as the um, Age of Extinction. Um, uh, what was it called? Movie Advanced uh, AD12 Optimus, I believe. So there he is with him. So yeah, they're about the same height, honestly. So that's pretty good matching. Um, I kind of like Optimus and Megaton as the same height, personally. I know he should be bigger, but like, it's all right with me This for the scale. Here's my custom Studio Series, oop, there's the back with the thrusters. Um, Studio Series Starscream, 
who I just got, by the way, who I'll be reviewing very soon, who I got an upgrade kit for, but it doesn't really fit too well, except for the minigun. But um, he came with missiles, the jet boosters on the back, but I don't really care about the jet boosters, because I already have a Starscream that has them, and I'm going to get them, uh, um, the Masterpiece version, probably sometime, with the, you know, because it comes with the jet boosters, like, built in, which is really cool, the MP10, I believe, MPM10, um, yeah, um, so that's pretty cool, um, and here he is with the minigun, so here he is next to Screamer, my favorite two Decepticons. So they're there together. Um, Starscream's a little taller, but if you count him up to the this section right here, then it counts, but up to the head, he's a little taller. Um, but up to the backpacks, they're pretty much the same. Okay, and then of course, next to, oh, poor Jazz, <laughs> um, who I gotta fix with super glue, by the way, too, because his arm, this arm gets really floppy after a while because of the huge BFG, you know, that cannon he has, that um, Crescent Cannon, um, that just, yeah, that gets in, that, that that just weakens his arm after a while. So yeah, but here he is with Jazz, so he's towering over Jazz, obviously. Um, and then next to his master, the Fallen. Here he is next to his master. There we go. Alright, here he is next to the Fallen. So he obviously is shorter than the Fallen, like he should be. But he, that looks about right, like Megatron's 35 feet, the Fallen's 40 feet. That actually looks pretty, a little bit better than the Studio Series Megatron with the Hunter and Decepticons Fallen. But if they do make a Studio Series one, I will get that. And of course, I'm getting the Battle Damage Megatron eventually too. But for a non-Battle Damage Revenge of Fallen Megatron, I'm sticking with this guy. Because he's really cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for comparisons. Now down to Transformation. Okay, first up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the backpack here and untab this. And then you can hinge that down on that hinge right there. All right, so now what? All right, just fold these wings all the way out. Um, fold these out, fold these tips out. Depends on how you have the backpack oriented and they might be like up like this, so you might have to fold those out like a cape like they said. Like I said, sorry. Okay, now you're gonna want to fold down this part. Um, bring these pieces down together. Hopefully they don't come untabbed. And then hinge the head up on that double hinge there. And now you can take these bracket pieces and just tab them together and it will sit right above his mouth there. Which is really cool. So it like kind of hides his face better than the um, Studio Series one actually. Robots in disguise, am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, then you want to rotate this first shoulder in, which is a really cool bit of transformation, honestly. And then you can rotate the arm, so the missile uh, trigger, the transition trigger is facing forward. Okay, and then you can come here to the back, and he's got nice translucent red bits on him. That's really shiny and really cool, actually. Um, you can rotate this arm back like that, and just it, it will sit back there for now, I believe, yes. So it'll be kind of hidden by the backpack, which is a good thing, because that's how you want it, actually. Um, and then, yeah, you just kind of take this arm, bring it down, like so. <clears throat> All right, and then what you're gonna want to do is, Okay, just making sure the finger was right, sorry. Okay, and then you're gonna come out of the feet here, fold up this panel, ooh, which reveals some exposed, now exposed tread bits. And then you're gonna take those, flip those out, <clears throat> straighten those out, and then you're gonna wanna close this panel back up, and then extend the leg. Sorry about that. Extend the leg, I'll show you on the second verse. Um, and then these panels are spring-loaded as well, so you flip those back, back, um, and then those will hopefully sit flush with the, I'll figure this out. <laughs> I always do eventually, most of the time. Um, and then you fold these down and, okay, I'll just show you the other leg to see if like, that works any better first. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so like I said, fold out the tread bit here. Come on, there we go. Okay, and then you fold this panel back down, 
straighten the leg and look at all this gorgeous silver and gold on him and this bronze color whoo looks amazing um and then fold this down the toes can you know can fold up um then you want to straighten the leg like i said and just and then the legs actually no I'm, i was right the legs don't tab in anywhere they just sit, sit right there for for let me lower the camera for right now then you can take this backpack section um hinge it oh you got to fold this piece out too um right in here this piece will fold out and then you can hinge the backpack back onto the cannon then you can take these sections here and bring them down and there are two little tabs as you can see there that go into two little holes right there and there <clears throat> so let's try and do this on camera please and then there we go. All right, I got one, uno, and uno mas. One more to go. And then for the next one here, we go. <clears throat> and tab this in over here, hopefully. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, just gotta get the shoulder, there we go, just gotta get the sol shoulder situated, sorry. Soldier, shoulder, 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 tongue twister. <laughs> um, and then you tab those in there, and then you just bring these wing pieces down, like so. And those will just sit down there, they won't really tab in, but they'll just sit there. And there you have it, I think. Maybe, sort of, kind of, yes, there you go. All right, there you have the movie The Best, Megatron, transformed up into his tank mode. And if I can get this little piece tabbed in here, that would be fantastic. There we go. All right, so here is movie The Best, Megatron? Is that you? <laughs> All right, here he is, movie The Best Megatron in Tank Mode. Um, looks absolutely awesome. Definitely more accurate in the Tank Mode, but the Robot Mode looks amazing too, personally. I believe he does. So he's got these big thrusters in the back here, which look really, really cool. Spring-loaded, and he's got these other thrusters here. Not much kibble at all. Very nice Decepticon logo, and all this gold looks beautiful, mixed in with the silver. Um, he's got these wing pieces, which are actually accurate to the movie to make the flying tank look. And he's got the turret and these pieces here, which sometimes don't stay down. This one does a better job of it for some reason. This one, oh, it's probably because the shoulder is like locking it. Because this shoulder doesn't really go in anywhere. So maybe I just got it. There we go. Just had to push it in a little more. But anyway, here he is. And then this little rubber piece here will cover that, which is really nice. But anyway, he can also, the tank turret for articulation, it does rotate side to side, and it does go up and down. So better than the Studio Series version, honestly. Um, these are the four plastic wheels which roll, but they make the most terrible sound I've ever heard. Oh, it didn't do it. It was like screeching before, like, before. There we go, you can kind of hear it. But um, if you hold him down, he rolled fine. But it's just, you know, when you, put, when you slide them like that, he'll just slide because the wheels aren't big enough. But anyway, there he is. And here's his spring-loaded missile. You can insert that here. And that will tab in. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, overall, very, very awesome figure. He's a pretty big-looking tank. Um, here he is next to Jazz again. So he's... He's like wide, he's not very tall, but he's like a pancake. He's like wide though. He's just awesome though. Like absolutely, he's got a sleek design. He's not all chunky like that. Or into the fallen leader Megatron was like the giant slug. Um, and he looks really good, honestly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. And yeah, have a great day everyone. I'll see you very soon for the next one. Uh, movie the best, MBO3 Megatron. Great figure, 10 out of 10 for me. All right, peace guys.